Nyaya Mala who gives what is the Pura Paksha and what is the Siddhanta beside the subject matter. Brahma Vedasya na kartru kimva kartru saushaya. Doubt is there now. What is the doubt? This Brahma, is it the author of Veda or not? Brahma Vedasya na kartru. Brahma is not the author of Veda. Or kimva kartru. Or is Brahma the author of Veda? This is what Samshaya Pura Paksha. It says Tat Kartruna. Tat means what? Brahma. Brahma Kartruna. It is not the Karta. Brahma is not the Karta of Veda. Brahma is not the Karta of the Veda. Why he gives Virupa? You can add that. Hey, Virupa. Hey, Virupa. Nityaya Vacha. Nityaya Vacha. Then add Stutim Preraya. Iti Evam Nityatva Kirtama. Says, Hey, Virupa. What is it, Virupa? Virupa is the name of a deity. Some mantra is there in the ritual. Says, oh Virupa, please praise highly with the Nitya Vedas. Something is there, some context is there. Somebody is requesting, oh, a deity, Virupa, oh Virupa, please, that is what he says, Nityaya Vacha. Veda is described as what? Nitya Vak. Nitya Vak is what? Eternal words. Veda is said to be what? Eternal. When you say Veda is eternal, what does it mean? It is not created. It is not. It is not created. So that was that Nitya Vacha. So what do you do? Says Stutim Preraya. Stutim Preraya means praise highly. You know, English says eulogize. You know, <laughs> eulogize, they say, no? eulogize. Praise highly. Is something maybe there for some praises, right? But with what? Vedas. With Veda. Then 
with Vedas. So that's why Vittaya Vacha Sutidra. Now what does it mean? Nitya Vak refers to Vedas. Means Veda is happens to be Nitya. When it is Nitya, how your Brahma can create? How it cannot create at all. So the it is Nityatva Kirtana. So because Nitya Kirtana means described because it is described. Don't think here. Kirtana means some Hare Rama Hare Krishna. <laughs> Kirtana, because it is narrated there, it is described there that the Veda is eternal in nature. When it is eternal in nature, how is it possible for Brahma to create? Brahma can create Jagat which is not in existence. Eternal thing always exists. It can't, Brahma can't create. That's what he meant. Huh? Says, so this, this is what Purapaksha. Doubt you know. What the doubt? Has Brahma created Vedas or not? Purapaksha says no. Why? Vedas are eternal. How can Brahma create it? Siddhanta. What is Siddhanta? Kartru. That's all the answer. <laughs> Kartru means what? You have to tell. Brahma Vedasya Kartru. Brahma is the author of Vedas. So that's the answer. Now you can't just go away that no. It is not banging the table that I am telling. <laughs> How do you say sir? Says, says Nishvasita Dyuktehi. Nishvasita di Uktehi. Uktehi. Because of statements. What statements? Nishvasita Adi. Nishvasita means exhalation. What is this exhalation? It will be referred to in the Bhasha itself, but for our ready reference, you take. Seventh line of Ratna Prabha, same page. Here only. Seventh line. Seventh line of Ratna Prabha, same page. Asya Mahataha Bhutasya. This is from Brihadaranya Kupanishad. 2, 4, 10. 2, 4, 10. What is that? Says. Asya. Mahataha Bhutasya. Asya means this Brahmanaha of this Brahma. And who is Mahataha Bhutasya? The one who is great, vast, one who is very important of that Brahma says the Bhutasya. Etad Nishvasitam. This is exhalation. What are those? Etad, this, this, this means, what are those? Rugveda, Yajurveda, Samaveda, Atharvangira Saha. All the four Vedas, literally, it means what? Exhalation of who? Brahma. Brahma, that great Brahma. What do you mean by exhalation of the great Brahma? It means a figurative expression. Just as exhalation is so natural, likewise, Naturally, from who Brahma the Vedas have come. Vedas have come. So, therefore, who is the author? Brahma. Who told this? Veda only. So, they say Veda only has told this. Veda only told. But I also quoted from Veda. Pura Paksha is there. Virupa, Nitya, Vacha, what is that? Nitya vacha sutim beraya. So that means, let us have a compromise now. 50-50. <laughs> Veda created by Brahma. Veda not created by Brahma. No, 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 my dear sir. See, the doctrine has to give answer to that statement. Siddhanta has to tell what is the meaning of Nitya vak. So let us say, the answer is given. This Uktehi. Purva Samyataha Nityatvam. 
certainly Veda speaks of Veda as Nitya. What is Nitya? He says, Purva Samyataha. Vedas authored by Brahma in this Kalpa is similar to the Vedas authored in the earlier Kalpa. That's all. Veda authored by Brahma in this Kalpa is the same as that in the earlier Kalpa. Along with the Pralaya, Vedas also got this part. But in the next Srishti, Brahma along with the Jagat created Veda also. But that Veda is same as earlier Kalpa. You know, Ramayana. Ramayana, in every Kalpa there is Rama. Ramayana is there. You know, in Tulsi Ramayana or Adhyaya, yes, Tulsi Ramayana, which is, you find Kaka Bhushunda. It's not an ordinary crow. It's not simply Brahmadnyani crow. Not simply Jivan Mukta crow. This crow is a Jivan Mukta which continues to kalpa together. Means this, he knows everything. He means past kalpas he knows. Once Vashishta went to him and he knows so he extended hospitality. So great master, what service I can do? I have heard that you are surviving the kalpas. <laughs> can you please tell me of past kalpas? See, with folded hand he say, Bhagavan, I know that you know everything. <laughs> I know that you know everything, but it is the greatness of great masters to get something done by the servants and so that they can highlight the greatness of the servants. So therefore it is your command, therefore I am telling, I know you already know. <laughs> you already know it. So he gives so many kalpas at that. And you know what happened? In some kalpa, Rama is all along Adnyani. <laughs> In our kalpa, this, this kalpa Ram, Ramayana is there, Adhyat, uh, not Adhyatma, Yoga Vasishta also is there. That shows that Rama is what? Jnani. But in some kalpas, he was all along Adnyani. And he said, our Brahmanda is one of the innumerable Brahmandas. There are some Brahmandas wherein Brahma Jnana is not possible. Thank you, stars. <laughs> we are born in a Brahmanda. <laughs> Whether you get it or not, <laughs> different thing. But it is possible to gain the Brahma Jnana. It is, that's why we, we are studying <laughs> Brahma Sutra. It is possible. So like that is there. So but he says Nityavak. Nityavak is similar. Similar to Vak that is is similar. What is similar? Vedas in this Kalpa authored by Brahma is similar to the Vedas in the past Kalpa. Therefore it is called Nityavak. So therefore, the final outcome is, he says, Sarvavabhasi Vedasya Kartrutva. It is proved, what is proved? Brahma is author of Veda. And what is the nature of Veda? Sarvavabhasi. Veda reveals everything. Veda itself is like Sarvadnya, not actual Sarvadnya. Why actual Sarvadnya? Not, we'll see. It is as good as Sarvadnya. So Sarvavabhasi Vedasya Kartratva. It is a Karta. Karta means it is the author. Author of Sarvavabhasi Vedasya. So therefore, Brahma is what? 
सर्वाविद भवि ब्रह्मे सर्वाविद इति नोस एवरीथिंग दैट वाज सर्वज्ञता इज वंस अगेन रीड द सेकंड एंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ संधि अस्ति अन्यमेयता अपि अस्य अस्ति अन्यमेयता अपि अस्य विसंधि ब्रेकिंग नाउ टेक अन्वय अस्य अन्यमेयता अपि अस्ति किम वा वेदैकमेयता क्वेश्चन What is question here? Samshaya. Put that down. Is this Brahma known by other means of knowledge, other pramanas than Vedas, or Brahma is known only through Vedas? Vedas. Doubt is there or not? Says Asya. Asya means Brahma na ha. Anya me yata. Anya me yata means. अन्य प्रमाण ही प्रमेयता इज इट समथिंग दैट कैन बी नोन बाय अदर अस्ति इज इट दैट और किम और वेदैक मेयता ब्रह्म कैन बी नोन ओनली थ्रू द प्रमाण ऑफ द वेद मेयता दिस इज द डाउट पूर्ण पक्ष ही सेज नो नो अन्य प्रमाण कैन नो ही सेज ब्रह्म घटवत सिद्ध वस्तुत्वा ब्रह्म बीइंग ए सिद्ध वस्तु सिद्ध वस्तु मींस एक्जिस्टिंग थिंग लाइक व्हाट घटवत ए पार्ट नाउ व्हाट इज दैट टू नो डू यू रश टू वेदास नो फॉर न्यूज़पेपर नो नो यू कैन डायरेक्टली सी Can say, let's say. Ah, huh? sound is there. <laughs> sound is there. Like that, you can see. You can touch also by other method. Other pramanas are available. So that person says, "Ghatavat siddha vastu tva," because it is an existing thing. So the siddha vastu says, "Brahma anena api miyate." Brahma is known through other pramanas also. This is what Pura Paksh Siddhanta says. Sir, Rupa Linga Adi Rahitya Asya Mantra Yogya Ta Na. Brahma has no रूप रस गंध शब्द देर फॉर यू कांट परसिव ब्रह्म अगेन रूप राहित्या लिंग आदि राहित्या लिंग लिंग मीन्स ए मार्क सो दैट इज मार्क फॉर सादृश्य एक्सेट्रा और व्याप्ति सी इफ लिंग इज देर यू कैन वॉट सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल smoke is the linga for fire with smoke you can infer fire is there like that 
if Brahma has got linga, some antenna is coming. <laughs> so, some antenna is coming. Oh, there must be Brahma. Suppose otherwise, some mustache like the me, so there must be a cockroach. <laughs> so like that. So some antenna is <laughs> therefore there must be Brahma. Linga is not. Or it can be sadrisha, similarity, to give drishtanta. Similarly, a bison, like a buffalo, so yeah. like that. So you can say a bison you have not seen. Oh, it is it is animal like a buffalo. So therefore, what sadrishya is there? No, it says rupa lingadi rahitya because of absence of shabda sparsha rupa rasa gandha linga that is some sign hetu or mark or similarity etc. Rahitya. Asya, asya means Brahmana, Mantara Yogyata Na. Mantara, I told you Mantara Yogyata. Pramanantara Yogyata. It is not worthy of being known by other Pramanas. You know, all other Pramanas have got their basis in Shabda Pramana. No, no, sorry, not Shabda Pramana. Pratyaksha. In Pratyaksha Pramana. It's called Jeshta Pramana. Direct perception. See, whether you infer or the illustration or such thing, what is necessary? Somewhere something must have been perceived. So that per Pratyaksha, direct perception is called Jeshta Pramana. So Brahma is not available for perception. No other pramanas can operate as far as Brahma is concerned. So that we say, mantara yogyata na. It cannot, that means, it is not worthy of being known by pramanantara. Why? Shabda, sparsha, rupa, rasa, gandha are not there. Again, what is not there? Linga, sadrishya, etc. are not there. That they are not there. Okay. Again, then it can be known only through Veda. How? Shruti quotation is given. It says, Tam tu aupanishad ityada, aupanishad ityada, Vedaika meyata prokta. This is Brudarnaka 3 9. 26. There it says, Yadnevalke uh, asks, Tam to Aupanishadam Purusham Prichami. I am asking you, debate was going on. I am asking you that Brahma, Purusha Brahma, which can be known only through Upanishads. Brother, I am asking you, because debate was going on. So that was it. I am asking you, come on, tell me. Brahma, which Brahma, which can be known only through Vedas. So therefore, tam to aupanishadam purusham prichami. So by that, so he says, tam to aupanishada ityadav, in such statements, some other statements was there, vedaika meyata prokta. So what is told is only vedaika meyata. Meyata means Prameyata. Brahma can be known only through the Veda. So therefore what? Brahma cannot be known by other Pramana because Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasa, Ganda are not there. Whereas this is what is concerned as for the, as for the this, uh, this. Upanishad uh, is told in the Upanishad that it can be known only through the Veda. So that means again. Shastra Yonitva gives two Varnakas. One is Brahma is Sarvajna, other is Brahma can be known only through the Vedas, Upanishad. It is not Pramanantara Vedya. Other Pramanas cannot know that. Shastra Yonitva. Shastra Yonitva. So Shastra Yonitva. First meaning. Shastram Pratikaranatva. 
in bracket you put sarvadnyam brahma shastram prati karanatva then air in bracket sarvadnyam brahma this is the meaning of first varnaka meaning of first word so what is it brahma is sarvadnya how do you say brahma is sarvadnya shastram prati karanatva because brahma is cause cause means what here author of shastra and what is shastra vedas brahma is the cause of shastra it is the cause the author of the vedas and therefore it is what sarvadnyam brahma so this is one meaning second varnaka is shastra gamyatva then add in bracket shastra gamyatva after that add in bracket brahma pramanantara vidyam na brahma pramanantara vidyam na shastra gamyatva brahma pramanantara vidyam na so shastra gamyatva means brahma is known only through shastra which shastra veda means upanishad it is known only through shastra only through vedas and therefore it is what brahma pramanantara vedyam na it is not something that can be known by other pramanas than vedas so these are the two meanings according to uh, this meanings in this particular sutra